Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the importance of breast screening in menopause. So the importance of breast screening quite basically is to detect any changes in your breasts that are happening. Early detection of these changes can actually save your life. Now not all changes are dangerous ones, they're not all cancer, but whatever the changes or whatever the problem is, the sooner you can get treatment, the better. So in the UK, all women from the age of 50 to 70 are offered free breast screening. You can be offered it earlier and you can continue it after the age of 70 if you ask to do so. The reasons for being offered it earlier are not always worrying reasons. Sometimes there are trials where, say in my case, they were trialling from an earlier age to a later age with the breast screening. So I had my first um, mammogram when I was 48. So you can also ask as well if you have a family history of breast problems or breast cancer, or if you become worried about something that's going on with your breasts, you can ask to be breast screened. Don't think you have to wait until you're 50. You see your GP if you'd like to be screened earlier. Your breasts do change quite a bit during uh, perimenopause and your postmenopause years. Your hormones are changing, you're getting a little older, your body's changing, so you probably will notice some changes to your breasts anyway. Just perfectly natural, healthy changes. But it is important to go for your breast screening because any changes can be detected early and they can see whether or not perfectly natural, nothing to worry about, or whether it's something that is causing a little concern and needs some treatment. So it's not just going and get the screening done every three years and that's it, you can forget about it. Women should always check their own breasts in between screenings on a regular basis, preferably monthly, because the texture of your breasts uh, does change during a monthly cycle. So if you're still having periods, no matter how infrequent they are, you would notice when you're examining your breasts, if you did it quite regularly over a few weeks, you will notice at different points in the cycle that the texture of them and whether or not you're getting breast pain and so on will actually change. So a lot of changes are natural. It's the breast screen it is looking out for the ones that are not so good. So checking your breasts in between of your own accord is really important. So on the whiteboard, there's a few pointers there of some things to look out for. So look out for any unusual lumps. So as I say, when you go through the hormonal changes, you, you do notice that your breasts perhaps become a little bit more lumpy in texture. But if there are any lumps that you are concerned about, or even if they suddenly have become more lumpy, then go, go and see your doctor. But particularly unusual lumps, if you normally think, well, they're generally quite bumpy anyway, but what's this, that this one isn't normally here, then go and get it checked, go and see your doctor. Uh, discharge from your nipples. Now, discharge from your nipples, um, obviously is it's not a normal thing it does indicate that there's a problem. So again, any discharge from your nipples, go and speak to your doctor. Redness as well. If you notice there are patches of redness on the skin of your breast, whether it's your nipple or around your nipple or anywhere else on your breast, if your skin has gone red and is staying red and it doesn't seem to be just an irritation from a change of washing powder or, or something like that, again, please go and get checked. Now, increase in size in one or both breasts as well. A lot of women say that they've found when they go through the perimenopause and into postmenopause years that their breasts are actually bigger than they were before um, in quite a healthy way as well. I mean, sometimes we put on some, some weight as well, which obviously can plump us out a little bit at the top. So all perfectly normal. But if there's any unexplained or uncomfortable reasons why your breasts have suddenly become enlarged, particularly if only one of them has become enlarged, you do need to get checked. Puckering of the skin as well um, can be an indication of something else going on underneath. 
So if your skin suddenly looks uh, puckered or sunken or kind of bunched together, again, get that one checked. Um, areas are thickening under the skin. Now, not all problems come in the form of lumps or discharge from the, from the nipples. Sometimes there's just this change of texture, which is described as feeling as if there's um, a thick patch underneath the, the skin on your breast. So if you get any patches that feel thicker underneath, almost as if they're more fibrous underneath, that is another thing that needs to be looked into. And again, any other changes, anything you're not happy with, if you check your breasts regularly and you're noticing changes and you're not sure what they are or what's causing them, anything at all, then get it looked into. It's always best to be on the safe side. And don't forget to check under your armpits as well. Obviously, we've got a lot of glands uh, underneath our armpits and our breasts obviously do go further under than we think, you know, they're not all at the front. So always check underneath your armpits and down the side and forward and back a little. Um, check for anything unusual there, such as lumps or thickening or changes to texture. Or if you feel like the glands have suddenly become really enlarged, that can be an indication of a problem too. So don't forget to check under your armpits. Check regularly, as I said earlier. I think generally you're advised to do it monthly, um, but it's entirely up to you how often you feel you need to do it, but definitely regularly, or get some advice from your doctor on how often you should check them. As I say, if you're still having periods, then you will find that the, the texture and the way they feel and the way they look can change quite naturally during a monthly cycle. So you may choose to check them at the same point in your cycle because that way I suppose if you're used to what they normally feel like at this point, if there's something different, it's gonna stand out a little bit more, but it's worth getting a bit of advice, but definitely regularly every month or two, just definitely check them and then see your doctor. If you're worried about anything or if anything has changed, anything is worrying you, even if you're not sure, even if you're just suffering with um, more uncomfortable breasts and more breast pain, which is quite a common thing, particularly during perimenopause. If you're not happy with it, go and see your doctor and, and let them take a look and put your mind at rest. Not all problems with breasts are cancer. Most of the time they are not, but nonetheless, if you have a problem, whatever type of problem it is, the sooner it's diagnosed and treated, the better. I hope you found the tips helpful. If you'd like to know when there are more videos coming up on the channel, there is a notification bell below the video. There's also a subscribe button there too. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.